Hey there folks, it's Antar1011 and I am back with a UU battle against the wizard who I found through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Uh, originally we did a, a new battle, but it was incredibly stally and the connection broke, so uh, we decided let's do a different battle, different teams, let's do UU instead because I only have the one NU team. Uh, he leads off with Primeape as I lead off with Yuxi. He's obviously going to want to U-turn out. Super effective hit isn't even doing that much as I go for my Stealth Rocks. He sends out his Haunch Crow and I'm predicting him to go for either a Brave Bird or to go for a Night Slash. Either way, Tux resists that. I should be okay. Um, I mean, this is probably not the special set, uh, you know, the Nasty Plot set. It's probably the um, uh, Moxie set, so... I take that Brave Bird quite well. I'm thinking he's going to switch out here. So, uh, as he goes for another Brave Bird, I'm like, no, this is not, so not good. As I go for, and I, um, I actually really didn't notice, I really should have noticed that he had Life Orb there. Um, at this point I was predicting him to be either Scarfed or Banded. And so I switch out into Clank, predicting him to be locked in, um, because I don't want to use, lose my Empoleon quite yet. Um, I had gone for the, uh, Grass, not expecting him to switch out into, um, uh, Blastoise. Anyway, he goes for the Roost here. Oh, so bad. So, so bad. Uh, he goes for the Brave Bird here, and it takes me down to 33 HP, so there's really nothing I can do. Uh, I go for the sub. Uh, I'm too weak to go for this uh, to actually do a sub. No, so here I've got nothing to do. No one can take a Brave Bird. So what do I do? I go for the unprotected focus punch on the off chance that he'd go for the roost. And indeed, he goes for the roost. He does go for the roost, expecting my switch. I go for the unprotected focus punch, and that is going to KO his Haunch Crow. Holy crap! That was the most epic prediction of all time. So yeah, I take out his Haunch Crow, although had he taken out my Golurk, I would have just gone out into my um, Galvantula and Revenge Killed with a Thunder. Um, now he's, I let him take out my, um, I, just in case he wanted to go for the sub or the nasty plot, I let him uh, take out my uh, Golurk rather than switching out. Uh, now I'm going to switch in Hugabug, who actually does outspeed Miss Magius, which is nice. Um, I know he outspeeds Miss Magius unless he's a Scarfer, which I'm pretty sure he's not. Uh, go for the Thunder. In fact, I'm pretty sure I saw Leftover's recovery. Um, so Rotom is going to resist that, but I get the Parahax, and actually that did a solid amount and it was going to be a 2 hit KO. I really should rebreed this Hugabug to have 279 HP rather than 281 because it's taking that extra um, one point of damage due to Life Orb, and it's really not. You know, after two after two um, life orb attacks, it comes out even. After three, I'd come out ahead if I were only 279. So anyway, switch out into uh, Empoleon as Death Fodder. He got locks himself in the Stone Edge. I actually went for agility here, Stone Edge. Uh, had I had he missed, I would have been able to outspeed and potentially sweep through his team at 20 HP. That would have been crazy. Um, anyway, Prime Ape's gonna switch out here. Uh, quite obvious. Uh, I really should have done a double switch, but I do go for the Psychic, which is my only attacking move on Patrick, uh, and here it actually pays off because he gets the special defense drop, and that totally, totally is going to matter as you're going to see in a second. I'm going to call back Patrick, going to go back out into Hugabug. I really should have gone into Arcanine based on who he had left. Um, well, I mean, I mean, no, I, uh, Blastoise isn't going to like taking a flare blitz, a landed flare blitz. So here I go for the thunder, and had I not gotten that special defense drop, or had he not gotten that special defense drop, that damage would have been uh, far less severe, would not have been a two hit KO. Just for the hidden power, it's a neutral hidden power, um, kind of an interesting set, I guess it's a uh, special set, not a physical set. Um, now my thunder misses here, which is really kind of lame, makes up for the crit, uh, or makes up for the defense drop, I guess. Um, so I'm toxic now. Uh, he's got the rocks up. I'm not going to want to switch out. There's really no point in switching out, uh, which is a shame, but I'm going to be able to take out his Bronzong, and so that's great. Bronzong is down, and now my now uh, my sweepers are going to have a lot easier of a time based on the three Pokemon he has left. Out now is going to come Primeape. No point in switching out because the, the Stealth Rocks would just kill me anyway. Hugabug is going to go down, and yeah, so now Primeape is going to be called back. I have the switch initiative, which is nice. Out's going to come Miss Magius. So who do I want to send into Miss Magius? Uh, that's a very, very good question. I go out into Kazulu, my Tangrowth, which is a mixed Tangrowth. Uh, I figure I can go for the uh, Power Whip and hopefully it'll do a good amount of damage. 
he goes for the sub and this is like, oh, this is so not good for me because Power Whip has crap accuracy. If one of them misses, then he's going to be behind a sub and I'm going to be completely screwed over. So my only hope is that all of my Power Whips miss. Uh, fortunately for me, though, he doesn't, uh, lo he doesn't keep going for the... Uh, subs, he actually goes for an attacking move thinking that maybe he could take me out. Uh, this is actually a specially defensive, um, actually it's a, an attacking specially defensive tank growth. It's really weird EVs. Anyway, now out is going to come Blastoise. Uh, I'm at minus one special defense, but I'm still pretty sure I could take a Scald. If he goes for the Ice Beam, then that's fine too. I, I actually count that I could survive one Ice Beam unless he got max damage. And Power Whip, I was hoping, would KO. It actually does not KO. He survives with a sliver of HP. Now I'm going to want to switch out um, because I am at minus one, and if I switch out, I get the Regenerator health back, and it'll be useful later on against that Primate especially. I go out into Patrick. Hoping that I can take one attack from this Blastoise. Now he's in torrent range, I just realized that, so uh, that's a torrent boosted Scald. Really doesn't do enough. I go for the Psychic here. I'm pretty sure I can take him out, even though I have no special attack investment. I mean, it is Psychic and it is Stab. So now out's gonna come Primate, and it's a matter of who, what's he gonna lock himself into. He locks himself into Stone Edge. Probably the best move for him. It's not gonna be enough to take, him, uh, take me out. Had he gotten the crit, it would have been. But I would have just gone for out into Tangrowth, uh, let him, um, yeah, I would have actually gone out into, uh, and tried to extreme speed with, uh, my banded, uh, whatchamacallit, Arcanine. So anyway, that's the end of the battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.